The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. And we know the great reward that will not only be gained, but rather will fill your grave after your death. Whenever someone prays there, whenever someone gives shahada in the masjid, whenever someone learns something in the masjid, yes, that will be something that you will have on your scale. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? Uh, today, I debated William Lane Craig, who is considered really the best debate in the last century of Christianity. And I gave him a chance to defend the Trinity. And you can watch the debate and make a decision for yourself as to the extent to which he was able to do so. But I think you'll find that, quite frankly, someone with his eminence, his academic eminence, and his standing, a 75-year-old man, but he's been in the game for like 50 years now, half a century in his own right, couldn't do it, really. He couldn't do it. And he had to keep moving to heresy. Uh, heresy after heresy after heresy, just to avoid logical contradiction. But even when he did that, he still fell into logical contradiction. You'll see in the debate. But what I was going to say is that, now we've been doing this apologetics or this polemics or these debates for almost a decade now. And... Quite frankly, in terms of the Christian world, I think William Lane Craig, quite frankly, is the pinnacle. And there is a feeling that I have that we've pretty much done it all. I know how bad that sounds. I mean, we, in, in terms of the UK Dawa, the Speaker's Corner guys, the people in America, people who were involved in the debates, I think, first, it started with Ahmad Didat. I mean, he was the greatest inspiration of all, the legend of legends. And he, he was the one who started everything up. And then the current age... I think the work has been continued by Zakir Naik, who's an icon, um, a legend in his own right. And then, inshallah, you know, the people in the UK and the US have tried to continue that work. And now there doesn't seem to be any major opponents left. However, there is one wife beater that's been uh, prancing around and me messing, meddling around. And he's been talking and as if, you know, no one wants to face him, no one wants to deal with him. And he's been mentioning my name. And I've been told that actually in the TikTok generation for those kinds of people, there are some people who are watching him and the, the traffic has actually uh, increased. And so I never say no to a challenge. I don't, I don't like to, especially not in this, in this world uh, and this world of debates, etc. I accept the challenge, the wife beat. I do. I accept the challenge. And in fact, I'll make it even more lucrative for the wife beater. What I'm going to say to the wife beater is that you can come and talk about it. I don't need to speak to you about Christianity because I've spoken to William Lane Craig about Christianity. I've spoken to the, the pinnacle, the top guy in, in, in the industry about the Trinity and discussed it with him, the man with two PhDs, the man who's the best debater in the last hundred years. I've spoken to him. I don't need to speak to you about that. You want to make a case against Islam. I, I can feel it. I can see it. And there are some people who are confident by your false confidence, have been made confident by your false confidence. And you know what? That has to be dashed and it has to be smashed and it has to be finished. And it will be finished. So I accept it. What's going to happen is the following. After a condition has been met, which I'm going to sp spell out in a second, you can come onto this channel, just like and uh, Crap Caption Christianity did, and you can go on your own channel. I give you full permission to go on your own channel. I go on my channel. We both go simultaneously live, like I did just now with Capture and Christianity. And we can speak about whatever it is about Islam, your strongest arguments, whatever it is you want to bring up. I'll, men I'll respond to you, no problem. I fully accept, and it doesn't have to be anything to do with Christianity. I accept your challenge. There's nothing more anyone can say now, but there's one condition. Only one. I accept your challenge, and I will bring you onto this channel, which has 1.26 million subscribers, and I don't know, something close to 400 million views. Yes, I'll give you all of those privileges under one condition. Jake, the Muslim metaphysician, is someone you must debate first. This man is a guy who's actually trained me for this debate with William Lane Craig. He is, in my estimation, in terms of the philosophical aspects of the Trinity, the best in the Muslim world, English-speaking Muslim world, probably even the Arabic-speaking Muslim world. I don't know about the other languages. But he's one of the best in the world. The world-class debater, world-class thinker, and he coached me for this particular debate. And this is the favor that I'm going to put to him. And I think 
it's only fair. If I'm going to speak to you about Islam, you should speak to him about Christianity. And the topic that you're going to be mentioning is the Trinity itself. So if you debate him, you automatically get a pass to debate me. Yes, and you can come and speak about Islam and talk about anything you like. And it'll be a quick turnaround, quick enough. I'll give you a link. and You can go uh, live on your channel. This is a great opportunity for you. Will you muster the testicular... Oh, I'm not, I'm not, we'll go there. We'll leave those jokes for another time, maybe. But will you muster the courage to accept Jake, the Muslim metaphysician's challenge? If you do, and if you're able to, to do that, then you will be facing me, I'll be next. And it will be on this channel, on your channel. No problem at all. There is nobody in the Christian world, there is no human being in the Christian world that can make a good defense of falsehood. I'm not saying the whole religion is false. There's aspects of Christianity which are true. And there is no one in the Christian world which can, can have a good argument against truth. Nobody. Not you, not anybody else. And that's the bottom line. I expect, I'm waiting for your response. And that's all I have to say. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey you, are you wasting your time on social media again? Your brothers and sisters in Islam net from Norway are establishing a masjid, a dawah center. Establishing a masjid to convey the message of Islam is one of the best deeds a Muslim can do. There's a huge need for it in Norway. You know this and I know this. So that makes the reward even greater. So give generously and Allah Azza wa Jal will give you even more.